Hey guys, this video is on Form Essentials 101. Basically, how to stand and how to sit. How your body should be at any given time. Now, you always want to think of uh, what's hitting the ground or what's attaching to something. Now, if you are standing, then you start bracing yourself from your head down. Now, if you're hanging from a pull-up bar with your feet up in the air, then you brace yourself from your feet up. So you always work towards the attachment. And right now, I'm standing up, so the attachment is the ground. So that's first. Now, what you do is you go by every single hinge, every single joint you have. Normal, most Americans, most people stand like this, just like Martin Rooney said, they don't have the thoracic extension. So what you wanna do, first off, tuck your chin in like somebody's trying to kiss you. That's one. Two is bring your chest up, thoracic extension. Two, one is chin, two is thoracic extension. Three is bring your shoulder blades back a little bit. Now look how that changes already. Boom, you already look way more confident. Four is keep your stomach in. So bring your belly button in towards your spine. So one is chin, two is chest, three is shoulders, four is stomach, belly button in towards your spine. So then you got that going, then you're tight. Then five is probably the most important and it's very hard for a lot of people to get is have a little bit of an anterior pelvic tilt. So that means that your, your pelvis goes boom, stick it out a little bit, just a little bit. But don't be like this and don't be like this either, but stick it out just a little bit. And the reason we want to do that is that if you have your clients, uh, if you tell your clients, hey, let's do some deadlifts, then they can go straight from here into the deadlifts, not bending over, but sticking their butt out. But if they have that other tilt right here and they come down, then they're gonna come down like that and then they're, they're they're gonna get a, their vertebrae are sticking out. So number one is chin, number two is chest, number three is shoulders, number four is a stomach, number five is your anterior pelvic tilt, number six is your foot stance. Um, your foot stance, a lot of people stand like this or they stand too narrow. Feet are always a little bit wider than your hips. So your feet should always be in that position that you're ready to catch somebody. Now you're not ready to catch somebody if you stand right here. You're also not ready to catch somebody if you stand right here. You're not flexible enough. So right here, a little wider than your, than your shoulders. So that's how to stand. Now, number two of this video is never ever bend over, just stick your butt out. You never bend over in your life. Because if you bend over, this is what bending over looks like. What am I doing with my back? What if I pick something up right now? Boom, I'm gonna hurt it. What you do instead is you do your chin, chest, shoulders, stomach. Stick your butt out, flex your legs a little bit, feet are a little wider than your hips. Then what you do is you drive this backwards, right here, drive this backwards. Keep that lower back arch. This needs to be straight, 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 straight. Now the minute that this rounds, that's when the exercise is over or that's where you should never go. You should never go to the part where this rounds. And for a lot of clients, that's like right here already. So teach your clients that. Teach your clients to keep a strong, uh, flat lower back. And the way to do that is to go to step number three of this video. And that is everything tight. Every single muscle has to be tight in your body from head to toe. If you're working out, you're doing a push up, you're doing a bench press, whatever you're doing, every single muscle has to be tight. Flex everything so that you get the best possible results. You get the best possible form and you're actually using your muscle. That's three. Four is a little bonus tip, and that is that I would say nine out of 10 Americans have inactive butts. What I mean is that their butts are just not working. So the reason why is because they sit down in offices and they sit in cars all the time. But a good, a good trick is to push your feet nice and wide and squeeze one side of your butt, activate it for five seconds, and then go to the other side, activate it for five seconds, and then go a little longer. Now there's many ways you can do this. You can also go right here, um, lean against the bench, right here, and just do a march where you really feel your butt activate because you're pushing back on it. But what, just don't, what I want you to be aware of is that your butt, a lot of times your butt isn't active. You have to be able to squeeze your butt. So to teach your clients how to squeeze your butt, put their hand, or have them put their hand on it and squeeze it. Boom, all right? So that's Form Essentials 101. That's how you stand, that's how you bend over. That's it, on to the next one.